Now I'd like to have the opportunity to introduce you to Cher Wang, the chairman and CEO of HTC. Thank you. Hi, everyone. It's great to be back here in Barcelona with you at Mobile Congress. For years, I believe that by merging technology with humanity, we could unleash imagination and fundamentally change the way people communicate and interact in the world forever. Over the past three years, we have all experienced a paradigm shift in the way we interact, not only with each other, but the world around us and with ourselves. A question I continue to find myself asking is, in the era of the metaverse, what are steps we can take to continue encouraging imagination, connection, and sharing our stories? I believe the answer to this lies in collaboration and co-creation. What I mean by this is, there is no single company or solution to make this happen alone. By working together, we can not only create new and exciting experiences, but also shape the future of technology and humanity itself. Let's dive deeper and explore the role of co-creation, not only between us here, but also between consumers and policymakers around the world. Together, we can unlock the full potential of the metaverse and XR technology to create a truly immersive and inclusive digital world for all to enjoy. We have to recognize that in order to introduce our world to true co-creation, we must start by ensuring people have fast and easy access to a wide range of consumer and enterprise experiences. And it's of great importance to me that we do our best to present positive experiences and support the community of co-creators in an open and safe way. We must start by understanding how the present is enabled by our past. It is no longer a distant dream that a shared vision of connected metaverse could amplify connection in our world. The foundational elements are what everyone here has spent decades building, making it possible to access the metaverse from any device. HTC has led many industry first. They help make up our mobile world. And with HTC Vive, we have pioneered virtual reality technologies that set the standard for professional and consumer VR. When we introduced the Vive in 2015, connectivity was just not enough to deliver high fidelity wireless VR. And as a result, PC VR delivered the best in class experience at the time. Yet the wild experiences limit the ability to spend meaningful time within the metaverse. This has all fundamentally changed with the development of 5G and the future 6G enabling faster and more connected wireless experiences for everyone. Furthermore, this evolution has enabled us to create technologies like HTC Vive's XR Elite, bridging the gap between the physical and digital world like never before. The XR Elite's lightweight form factor enables best-in-class wireless VR experiences as well as full-color pass-through XR, empowering connection that no longer isolates users in their environment all the community around them. I can't wait for you all to experience the pass-through technology that our communities of developers is currently testing. Let's see a short video. As a result of the conference of our technological breakthroughs, XR hardware can now truly support Vive and Viverse 
to showcase and enable, enable co-creation at all levels. In thinking about the collaboration and the use of our XR technology, I couldn't help but think about a heart-wrenching yet inspiring story shared with me by the president of Surgical Theater, Alon Zuckerman. In early 2020, Alon received the terrible news that his son, Itai, had been diagnosed with aggressive cancer in his pelvis. As a father, Alon was determined to do everything in his power to help his son fight this devastating disease. That's when Surgical Theater's technology stepped in, creating a 360 XR model of Itai's unique anatomy and tumor. This allowed his care team to virtually walk around the tumor, giving them a deeper understanding of the cancer spread and empowering them to make informed decisions about his treatment. They were able to work seamlessly together, even though the team was located across the globe. The tumor was successfully removed, and today, Eta is cancer-free and is training for a teenage ninja competition. What was most insightful for me was something that Eta shared with his father. This technology not only enabled him to understand his diagnosis and explain to his friends, but it enabled him and his family to become decision makers in his treatment. It was a powerful reminder of the transformative nature that technology can have on people's lives and the importance of finding new and innovative ways to battle cancer. I am forever grateful for technology like surgical theater, giving hope to people like Itai in the darkest of times. We are currently collaborating with numerous partners in the industry to build tools to assist in brain, spine, and cancer procedures utilizing our XR technologies. I find these life-changing technology incredible. Let's look at the video. The most successful brain surgeries start before you enter the operating room. With a 3D model of your brain, we rehearse your exact procedure from every possible angle so we can deliver the highest survival rates in the country. At NYU Langone, the nation's number one hospital for neurology and neurosurgery. The data is inspiring as well. A Yale School of Medicine study found that VR trained surgeons were 29% faster and made six times few mistakes. With Miami Children's Hospital found that 400% increase in long-term retention for VR trained students. But co-creation is not just about technology. It's also about the importance of building a community and a society where trusted input from consumers, industry, and end users plays a central role from beginning to end. To build this forward-looking society, our technologies must place users' privacy, security, and consent first. Unlike many of our peers at HTC and Vive, we believe that privacy truly comes first and that all users and creators should own their identity, data, and creations. We must consider the ethical implications of new technologies, especially as the AI wave has just arrived. Many companies will love the unrestricted access to this vast data flow that the metaverse enables. But if we do not allow users' privacy first, imagine a world where biometric and voice data can be combined with social targeting to create customized ads created by AI in real time. Instead of this, imagine if we use this opportunity to enable consumers while receiving their consent. Doesn't that sound like a much better future? This sentiment was captured perfectly in a recent Forbes article. It has been my priority and will continue to be our promise that the consumer is not the product, but that the product is the product. 
Going forward, we must learn from the many lessons of the Web2 era, specifically around ethics, content moderation, and social curation to improve the connected metaverse. And we must work together to co-create a code of conduct that considers the implications of the known issues of the past and the unknown that the future brings in. It is also critically important to me that we also use co-creation to expand access to our cultural institutions and the arts. Not only does this allow for greater inclusivity and democratization of cultural experiences, but it broadens the appreciation for these treasures by delivering one-of-a-kind projects that can be accessed anywhere in the world. Because I believe so much in the power of the arts on our humanity, we created Vive Arts in 2017. We have collaborated with numerous institutions, artists, and individuals to co-create experiences driven by this passion. In early 2019, Orange initiated a project and invited Vive Arts to preserve French cultural heritage that ended up being much more important than we could have ever imagined. The project began as a collaboration between Vive Arts, the city of Paris, the Notre Dame Cathedral, Orange, and our content partner, Emissive, to digitally preserve one of the most important pieces of architecture anywhere in the world. It will allow anyone to experience Notre Dame in VR without the need to go to Paris. But what we didn't know at the time was that the project would end up assisting in rebuilding of the cathedral itself. As you know, early in the evening, on April 15th, a terrible fire broke out in the attic of the cathedral, destroying the spire and the beams supporting the roof. Fortunately, the team had completed months of painstaking work, creating high-resolution scans of the interior and the exterior of the cathedral just weeks before the fire broke down. The impact of this project has been incredible with daily viewings booked through, both in and outside of Paris. The humanity of our technology truly lets you walk through space and time even before the reconstruction is complete and we are allowed to visit in person again. Technology can ensure our history lives on, no matter what our future holds. Let's play the video. A natural disaster or a charge fire like the one suffered in Notre Dame, these endeavors require many parties to work together, making this topic of co-creation and collaboration not merely important, but essential. We will not succeed in achieving a connected metaverse without it. As I wrap up here today, I want to share a few thoughts on co-creation and starting to create a shared understanding about our responsibility between industry, users, public policy, and culture. We have built life around these ideas all along, but we must define the future together. First, between the industry and our users, the industry is asking customers to take a chance, not only on a new product, but a new kind of experience. We are asking users to enter digital space in a way that they never had before and engage in content that is not merely a new spin, but something that is experientially novel. The users will be able to create things that no individual company is even considering today. Second, co-creation between 
users, the social experience between users is extremely important. The immersive social space may very well be the most important aspect to the metaverse success. In immersive XR, the distinction between a specific social network and the metaverse in general will blur. It's our job to enable our culture to enhance the social experience, fostering collaboration and leading to user-generated imagination and discovery. Third, it goes without saying that collaboration between companies will form the basis of content, services, and platforms that will support the metaverse. Despite different views on, the, on these ideas, co-creation can emerge from different parties working on a shared vision in their own way. In fact, it is a synthesis of our different approaches that leads to innovation and will truly lead to the realization of the connected metaverse. Fourth, co-creation with public policy. It is the responsibility of the industry, thought leaders and those in the know to lead. In other words, all of you, I believe the metaverse will become central to many aspects of lives. And in the same way, the internet has produced benefits, cultural changes and problems, the metaverse will be no different. It is our responsibility to interface with the public and help governments understand, regulate where necessary, and lead to a stable and fruitful partnership. Finally, our most important job is to think outside the box and debate this together as we advance our culture. I would love to hear from you, and I invite you to join me in this co-creation process as we build our future together. I encourage all of you to join me in this co-creation process as we build our future together and explore the world of HTC Vive, Vivos, and Viverse. Contact me anytime. Thank you very much.